So Wolf, uh, I see that you're in the uh, U.S. Army by your military, your, your uniform. Uh, tell me a little bit about that uniform. You've got some patches and things on there. Tell me uh, what those mean. And, uh, this patch here is uh, from whenever I was in the reserve unit. Uh, is at the 363rd uh, Bravo, Bat or, uh, Bravo Battalion. Uh, it was based in uh, Pittsburgh, American flag, you know, represents you know, the country and that. I'm used to seeing the digital camouflage, so, and this is a little different than that. Why, why is it this uniform? Uh, this is uh, the ones that they had actually, uh, we got issued before the, you know, they came out with the digis and that. And uh, I said, this is uh, the reserve unit, and uh, you know it was uh, mainly for you know woodland uh, camouflage and that, and again for like mostly like jungle terrain. As a reservist, did you ever get called to active duty over in one of these wars? Uh, actually, uh, I switched to active duty uh, after high school, and that uh, I actually wanted to go into uh, active duty immediately, but being I was uh, still 17 and in high school, you know, kind of couldn't do that. So I did the uh, split option where I did uh, my basic training during my junior year. And then uh, afterwards, you know, after I graduated, I went, uh, I was supposed to go to the AIT, you know, but instead that's whenever I decided to switch active duty. What made a guy like you want to join up before you even got out of high school? Uh, you know, it was different partial things, but the main thing was, you know, uh, I had real pride in my country and that, and, uh, you know, I wanted to be able to defend and protect other people that, you know, maybe couldn't do it for themselves, and, you know, it was also, like, a way for me to get out and see the world and, you know, explore and have new experiences.